As a four-year-old, my mother brought me to this church to start Sunday school. My teacher was Edna Nauta, who was a very loving, warm person who made me feel welcome right away. She taught us songs about Jesus and read stories about Jesus to tell us how much he loved the children and loved everyone in the world. Her legacy in life, after teaching for over 20 years, 25 years actually, gave her nursery children the wonderful experience of learning about a loving God. Her life was an example of one kind of legacy or memorial for Faith Church and its future. Having served on the memorial committee for many years, I would like to reflect on the many and various ways memorials have enriched our programs and our building structure. There isn't time to mention all the memorials given, but I will recall <clears throat> just a few. Many years ago, the church building was greatly enhanced, and that was quite a number of years ago, with uh, the installation of stained glass windows. A pipe garden was given and served the church until a new one was later purchased and serves the, per the present church. Memorial money was used to make the church more handicapped accessible. That project also provided an office for our pastor, the secretary, a woman's parlor, or a parlor and women's and men's bathrooms, and a choir room additional Sunday school rooms as well as a canopy over the back entrance. Memorials also provided the furnishings for all the newly added rooms. Many gifts have been given to faith through the years. Gifts of service, gifts of talents shared, gifts of money, and when a loved one in a family dies, a memorial to honor their memory. <clears throat> and it also provides for the future of this church in new ministries and outreach, outreach in local charities and <clears throat> locally and in the world. Memorials give the church a future in which to grow and to serve Christ. We were so richly blessed by the Ray and Dorothy Loomis memorials recently, and we will strive to be good stewards of that memorial gift to this church. Working on memorials, singing in the choir, serving in other ways has been a privilege. I am thankful for the opportunities to serve. John Wesley says, do all the good you can by all the means you can. The way I feel that I can serve Faith Church the best is by working with the children of the church and God has given me a love for children and somewhat of a gift in being able to work with them and teach with them because I do have a great love for children I feel that that's where I'm called to um, to do what I'm able to do for those children of our church and how does our church make a difference in the lives of those children. I guess that is something that is foremost in my mind as we go through each of the preparations for every Sunday, every time that we work with the children. How can we touch their lives? How can we be there for them? Um, Pastor Susan used an analogy in the children's time a couple of weeks ago about Sunday school being a safety net, kind of a, a place that um, children can go to feel comfortable and to catch them when they fall. So I really love that analogy and I, I think it's something that I will hang on to because I would like to think that that's what God is and that's what our Sunday school is as well, a place that they can come, feel comfortable, be with friends, um, have some role models, hopefully adult and youth that they can follow and then take those thoughts and those feelings back home with them and share them with their family and maybe reach out to friends and neighbors with those feelings and encourage 
others to come and join us and to be able to find that connection with Faith United Methodist Church Sunday School. So those would be kind of my hopes and dreams for the future of our Sunday School program, that God would allow us to grow in those ways and to outreach and to become even more important in the lives of the children that we do have the opportunity to work with. I'm thinking about how we serve uh, God in our church. Um, we do quite a bit. Um, Kurt? Well, we do ushering, and obviously, I mean, we, we do our, our weekly tithing and our giving, uh, try to support in both service and in, in uh, tithing. Uh, Kathy currently is the chair for the SPRC committee, and through that, uh, uh, attends other meetings such as finance, at council, Which I like have that. to admit, I wasn't real crazy about going to those when I heard I was the SPRC chairperson, but they really are interesting and to see the mechanics of the church and the budgeting of the church and how the church works has been very interesting. Um, and then I've also, um, we're gone quite a bit, be, especially now that we're retired because we spend a lot of time at our cottage, but usually Nancy Jones knows that November 1st I'm back in choir and I enjoy the people in choir. And it's the fellowship, I think, too, in choir. And then also this year um, we're trying something new where I took uh, charge of the kitchen for buying supplies and things through our hospitality committee, so that's another way. On the physical side for this church, I'd like a re renovation and a restoration of the bell tower. I miss the bell. I really enjoyed hearing that bell on Sunday morning. I could hear it all the way across town to my own home. Spiritually, I would like to see the women's breakfast group develop into something more than just a get together for a meal. Uh, I'd like to see it to become more service-oriented and also to begin to include maybe some of the newer members in the church as our guests. Uh, many times when we see members in church or we see them during the fellowship time, it's not enough time uh, to make a difference. Uh, I'd like to see us maybe get together in our homes and invite some of the new members and some of the old members just to have fellowship together and get to know each other better. I, I grew up in this church. My grandparents, my parents, my children, my grandchild are members of this church. And I would like to get to know some of the newer members better. I think sometimes we take for granted our relationships in the church, that we know everyone, we've known everyone for years, but we do have new members, and I think we could make a difference for them. I am just one. I can make a difference. Together. Together, we can serve. Together, we can serve. To make a difference. A difference. A difference.